Good morning, modern steaders. This morning, I thought we'd talk about how we prepare our cars for some of the worst driving conditions out there. I've been asked a lot this year, how do we drive in this weather, and how do you let your wife drive in this kind of weather? One of the first things we did is we made sure we bought a good all-wheel drive vehicle. We have a Subaru. One of the bigger things you need to think about is what kind of tires you put on your cars, whether it's front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. Gina's last car was a front-wheel drive minivan with studded snow tires, and it worked good. What we have for snow tires on Gina's car are Nokian Nordmans. They're a good, aggressive, studded snow tire. They also make a hack a pleater but they're made in Finland and Russia. Very good tire. The big difference between snow tires and all season tires is the rubber is made of different compounds so that the snow tire rubber is soft so when it's cold out it stays soft and will still grip the road and the studs are give you like 90 percent more traction and stopping ability on ice versus a regular all season tire i think the finlands know a thing or two about snow tires where they have some of the coldest weather for the longest amount of time, that and in Russia. One of the things I like to do to stay prepared just in case we get stuck on the side of the road, you never know, I keep a lighter in all of our vehicles for the winter season. If it's cold out and you gotta go walking and I gotta leave Gina and Olivia behind, at least I know they could have a nice fire going. We always keep snow pants in our car. That way if you gotta walk in deep snow or shovel yourself out, you have your snow pants. A great tool to keep in the car is a snow broom. I don't think many people know about these, and if you do, <laughs> we're lucky. This one has an extending handle on it. It's made of Nerf, like a Nerf football. And you can just reach your car and drag off all your snow. It's nice because you can get your roof from one spot. You can get your hood. I'll put a link to these in our Amazon shop if I can find them. But they are very handy. Especially if you have a truck and you have high areas you need to reach. Being Nerf, you don't go worry about scratching your paint. Works amazing. And it's a lot faster. We're, you're always trying to get somewhere. So if you can have a snow broom to save you time make it quicker you're going to clean off more of your car and that's going to make it safer for you because you're going to be able to see out of your car a lot easier in our trunk we like to keep a small snow shovel so that way if you get stuck on the side of the road in a snow bank or if somebody else does you can dig your way out we keep a set of spear or our old wiper blades in the trunk that way if one breaks off because of the ice or for some odd reason you have a backup pair of wipers you definitely want to keep some extra windshield washer fluid in your car. You never know when you'll run out. And one of the last things we keep in Gina's car is a blanket. You always want to have a blanket and warm clothes in your vehicle. We hope we never have to use them, but if we need them, we know they're there. On my truck, it's a four-wheel drive truck. I plow with it, but I still keep snow tires on my truck. I run the Hancock I-Pikes on my truck. The tread looks a lot like the Nokians that Gina has. It's a soft compound, not as soft as the Nokian or Hacka Pleater tires. They're soft, but not the softest, which is good for a truck because a heavy duty truck, if the treads are too soft, you're gonna destroy the tires way too fast. So it's kind of a happy medium. I don't have studded tires on my truck for one reason. I don't wanna take the tires off and change them out every year. Gina's car, come October, we take off her summer tires, all season tires, and put on her studded tires. My truck, I don't drive it that much, so I just leave my snow tires on all year round, and I don't wanna have to listen to studs all the time because they're kinda loud. But when I switched to these last winter, it made a huge difference in traction, plowing, stopping, driving. Last winter we had a freak ice storm 
Well, everybody was on their way to work in the morning. It was raining out, and then the temperature plummeted like that, and the roads turned to ice. There's one stretch of road up the street. There nobody. Could, there was an accident up a hill around the corner. Nobody could get up and out, and there's no cell phone service there. There was over 10 cars stopped. I was able to, in my truck, drive past them, find cell phone service, and call the local police department. And they had no record of the accident yet. It was a, it's a good thing to have tires and stopping isn't always the best option if you can drive past it and call for help. That's even better. In my truck, I have a little bit more room. I have two snow shovels I keep in the back. I have a snow broom with a longer handle on it to reach longer for my truck. I keep a chain in the truck. If I have to pull somebody out, I can. Extra washer fluid. I have I have a toolbox full of ratchet straps. You never know what you could do with all them ratchet straps in a tight situation. And I keep a bucket with a five gallon lid on it full of sand and salt. This way, if you or somebody can't get up a hill, you're in a bad spot, I always have it in the truck, and we can make it to where we need to go. It's always nice when your preps can help somebody else out if you have all the stuff you need. You might not need it, but you might be able to help somebody out, and that, that makes you feel good. I like having a truck cap on my truck in the wintertime. If we're getting snow all the time, my bed's going to be loaded with snow and I can't store stuff in there. So the truck cap is nice. A little ugly, but it serves its purpose. I keep a spare coat, snow pants, gloves and scarf. I also keep, oh in Gina's car we do too, we keep a flashlight and a lighter. You never know when you're going to need it. You might think it's funny, but I think sunglasses are more of a priority to have in the winter time than they are the summer time. You can get some nasty sun glare off the snow, so if you have your sunglasses, it's a huge eye saver. When you have to drive on ice, snow tires make a huge difference. I keep windshield washer fluid in a squirt bottle. This way, if my washers are frozen up, especially in a snowstorm, I can squirt it and clean my windshield off. I don't keep a chainsaw in my truck, but I keep an axe. An extra wiper blade, you never know when yours is going to freeze up or break on you. Oil for my plow. And it's always a good thing to have a jack in your truck if you are plowing. I have my truck jack. I've had my plow break on me before. It wouldn't lift or do anything. But I was able to get up under this area, jack it up, and then you can move the position of your chain and the chain will hold it up in place for you so you can drive home and get it fixed. What do you keep in your car for preparations for winter time or different driving conditions that are in your area? Before we go outside and check out the Kubota, it's working good. 17 winds blowing from the east at one mile per hour. I like it. Now if you live and work or plan on living or working in an area that has a lot of dirt roads, a great option to always keep in your car for when you need to is tire chains. They make tire chains that look just like this or you can get the tire chains like we have on our Kubota that have the ice picks. They give you a lot more traction. They make ones for cars that are kind of like bungee cords that you can throw on in like five different locations in a freak snowstorm. These ice pick tire chains also work really well for breaking up the ice, but tire chains are another great option. If you're going to be living in a very remote area or your driveway is uphill, good to have. I wouldn't use them on a paved road. 
I'm pretty sure in a lot of areas it's illegal to use tire chains on a paved road. Tire chains could get you out of some really nasty situations. Those are some of the preparations we take for winter driving conditions in our area so that way I can feel confident when Gina's out in the road with Olivia and she can feel confident too. And if any of us are out, out late plowing, we can feel confident knowing that we have the best choices that we can for our ability. Now is a great time to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button so YouTube will keep you up to date on what we're doing. We'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. Let's go. In the house, come on. That's not the house. Come on. The house. Hey. Let's go. Come on. Pluto. Hey.